Luxury outdoor saunas cost anywhere between five and $50,000, right? Wrong. I'm building this luxury outdoor sauna for less than I'll give you the full price breakdown at the end of the video. After I completed my dream geothermal greenhouse made from recycled materials, I decided I wanted to make this, a wood heated luxury pallet wood sauna. Some of you might be wondering though, really, pallet wood, is it safe? Well, I made a separate video just about that. So you can find the link for that video in the description. That topic aside, it's always been my plan to use cedar to line the inside of my sauna. But remember that budget I'm gonna talk about at the end? Well, cedar boards run between four and $10 a foot. So yeah, they're really expensive. And I figured out, well, I'm gonna need about 55, six foot boards to finish my sauna. That would run me like 1,500 to $3,000 just for the cedar to line the inside of my sauna. So yeah, that's, that's gonna blow the budget. Then I thought, well, maybe I could use cedar fence boards. They're a little bit cheaper and I could sand them down or plane them down, but really those would burn through my budget just about as quickly. And then I scored and found a Facebook marketplace listing from a lumber yard in upstate New York advertising finished double bevel Western red cedar with channel tabs for $3.99 a board. So, <laughs> uh, um, so I hopped in the truck and made the journey to upstate New York. And while it did mean that I needed to sort through uh, quite a bit of material, there was more than enough. And now I could make the plan of having cedar on the inside of the sauna a reality. Now that I had most of the material necessary to complete the project, I needed to just buckle down, crank out shingles, and complete the exterior of it. If the idea or the concept of making shingles from pallet wood is a new idea to you, well, I made a whole separate set of videos just about that. And you can find links to those videos in the description below. I made a small lip over the entrance to reduce water contact with the door. I found a really cool set of solar lights with motion detection and selectable color temperature and installed one over the door and the other will go inside the sauna. In a previous video, I had mentioned I was trying to decide what to use to insulate this project, which led to a number of expert sauna users and builders to point out that a lot of outdoor saunas actually don't have insulation. Uh, think of something like a barrel sauna. On top of that, you know, the walls of this particular build are very thick. And so along with that comes a lot of thermal mass, a lot more than what you would have in a barrel sauna. And so that led me to decide not to insulate it, or at least for the most part, not to insulate it. I might end up still insulating the little tiny ceiling area, but I haven't decided on that, so stay tuned. Lastly, once all of the external shingles were installed, I sealed the entire thing with boiled linseed oil. And that brings us to now. The next step is to make sure that the interior walls are ready, uh, that there's enough backing board to actually nail into. Once I've done that, the sauna liner will get installed. I'll also need to lay out the hearth area. And then once that's done, I'm gonna start installing cedar. Okay, so now for the budget. Uh, my goal was to try and stay below $1,000 
And I, I recognize that that's not cheap, but it is considerably less than the five to $50,000 that you might spend on a similar project. Uh, in the last video, I mentioned that I had spent $500 up to that point, plus the uh, gift of the Solo Wilder wood stove. And uh, the actual price of that wood stove, the correct price is $129. So the total spent or cost, theoretical cost is $629. The 55 boards needed for the sauna cost me $220. The solar light set cost $48. The two gallons of boiled linseed oil cost $98. And I'm technically, I don't think I'm gonna use all of that. So I could like shave off a little bit, but it's good for now. That means that the total spent so far is $995. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. It's pretty cool to be able to stay on budget. Now, I pointed out in a, in a previous video the spots that I had spent money because I just wanted to save time. So if you're thinking about building this or something similar, be sure to check out those other videos because there are places where more money can be saved. Um, some of you were wondering, well, are plans available for this build? And I'm happy to tell you that the answer is soon. Um, actually, as we speak, my buddy Josh is working on the plans for this particular design. So stay tuned for that. And, and this is probably a good point to mention that the bell icon is what actually makes it possible for you to be notified when a new video has been posted by someone that you follow. So this would be a good time to hit the bell icon um, for my channel. Uh, finally, I just wanted to make a real quick shout out to the paying members of my YouTube channel, uh, as well as the paying members on my Instagram account. Thank you so much. It's, it really is incredible. I, I'm, I'm thankful. Thank you. <laughs> um, and then also the, the, the group of you that made it to the end of this video, you're also in kind of an exclusive group of like 10 people that make it to the end of my videos. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Well, if you liked this video, you might like these. <laughs>